dum dee dum dee dum Portugal strikes again. <laughs> I got me a box, well, a box and then something else. From Fernanda Nascimento Orchids and Succulents. Oi, Portugal! So, I already know what's in here and that is why I brought out my Bletilla striata that I was also gifted. Was it last year, Fernanda, or two years ago? Two years ago, no? She hasn't bloomed for me yet, but it would appear that I have gained a vote of confidence from Fernanda because in here is another Bletilla striata, but a variegated one. She is the Albo striata. And well, I guess, you know, we can see nice foliage. I made a pledge to myself and this orchid that I will be very, very mindful not to singe the leaves this year the way I did last year. They were pretty toasted last year. But look, she's doing amazing. I think next year we will have some blooms. Yeah, she can stay as my backdrop. However, I have to be very careful because evidently I got me some more testing material here. <laughs> I wonder, sphagnum moss? Hmm. We shall try, but I have to be very careful because in here there is a spike. <laughs> very well padded. I'm going to have to remove this. I don't want this to be landing on the floor. I'll be right back. In here is a Guariatea black comet as well. So, we've got some sticky tape over here. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Yikes, more sticky tape here. Are you free now? <laughs> I love that rich color of that Guariate. I've been admiring it from a distance on her channel, which will be linked in the description, of course. It's this rich, deep purple, and it always comes across so noble on camera that I think this orchid is amazing. If I get to see the blooms for myself. <gasps> Ooh, yes, she is as amazing in real life as she is on camera. Oh my goodness. Right, little bit stressed from the trip, but we can at least document the blooms. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, exciting, exciting. We are going to get out the Bletia as well. Let's put you a little bit over here. Very, very slowly. Oh, she's got beautiful leaves. Beautiful. Look, you've got company. Oh, she is gorgeous. Look at this. You've got company, Bletia striata, Alba variegated. When I looked them up on the internet, I saw them as Albo striata. Bletia striata, Albo striata with white blooms. Yes, yay for white. <laughs> but isn't that awesome? Chinese ground orchid. Lightly variegated. Love this. Thank you very, very much, Fernanda. I shall pick this apart just now because we have to give them their welcome cocktail. And what is this, pray tell? Well, it is a new form of media and I'm going to cheat. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> I had to have a look. I had to see this. This is like normal brick that Fernanda has been using also to decorate and enhance and accent her garden, but it has its landscape brick and it can be similar, maybe not as water retentive as Ceramis, but similar. So she sent me some to try out, which is amazing. Awesome. I hope I've got it the right way around. No. Don't know how you did this, Fernando, but it, uh, oh, I see. <laughs> okay, got it. Huh? How does this work? What did you do? Oh, okay. Huh. Let's see. First of all, I must, I must make a little bit more certain that these leaves are not going to burn. 
we are in that time of year finally that we have ourselves some warmth to go along with the sun. This is fascinating for me because if this is available in Portugal then I am hoping that one day it's going to make its way across the border and if it is what I think it can be then it's going to be fabulous. Now the chunks are a bit bigger than ceramics, but they have a similar kind of texture to them. They're also a little bit stiffer. I mean, a piece of ceramics would never be this big and I would be able to break the ceramics. That's how poor a ceramics is. But still, I am fascinated. I am so happy to get some of this, Fernanda. Thank you very, very much. You know, the routine, rinse, boil <laughs> awesomeness now before i get carried away too much with my new media and forget completely that these guys need a little bit of tlc let's just slowly get in there Ooh, look at these pseudo bulbs what i have prepared for them is a cocktail let's just say of seaweed at 40 parts per million and calcium magnesium at 60 parts per million. But I have got the pH at about seven this time because I kind of guessed a little bit as to what the media would be like, could be like. And I want the pH to be a little bit higher so that the calcium will actually be absorbed. Slightly damp. So I don't know if it will absorb anything at this point in time, but we're still gonna be using it and trying it out. Let's get you situated. Oh my, I'm gonna be documenting these blooms and that spike is coming off with a single bulb that's viable in the back. Not being familiar with Guaria chairs, I'm assuming they're similar to the Prostechia, so they are quite vigorous, but I'm not going to take any risks. They do seem to have a different composition when it comes to the fleshiness of the leaves than any kind of prostechia that I have here. I love this color. This really knocks my prostechias out of the park. Nothing against light green, chartreuse, white blooms. Oh, but this color is just, it's so royal. Very beautiful. Any fragrance? No, no fragrance, poor things. Of course, no light for days. Well, actually days, yeah, exactly, two days. And they had to stay in the box yesterday because I was cleaning up after the fire. I've got ash all over the terrace. Patio looked very, very messy. So I couldn't get into this box yesterday. Well, it took two days from Portugal to come here. This is beautiful. Quelle surprise. I got me a partner. Oh, hey, Bletia is gonna enjoy this cocktail. She's quite dry. I'll make sure I don't do anything here. Get too ahead of myself with the sellotape. Look at that. Oh, the tubers. Beautiful. I feel so much more confident now that I've got this one to grow so well. It's always a little bit, you know, when you get, oh. <laughs> well, um, that's an issue, isn't it? Um, I'll be right back. <laughs> that should work better. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> there we go. You are very, very welcome in Spain. I wonder if I even said hi to everybody. <laughs> Oops. Hello. Welcome to this unboxing from Portugal. Got me some new orchids. Oh my goodness, this is super exciting. I am very, very happy to have these. Also, my media here. Hmm, I'll be tinkering with that stuff. I might need to have a few days to play with it, look at it, get used to it, but wow, very, very promising. 
Fernanda, I can't thank you enough. This is awesome. Obrigado. One of my favorite words in Portuguese, not that I know many, but obrigado always sounds so determined and it is a statement word. And I think it's very, very fitting when you say thank you in Portuguese. Obrigado for these beautiful orchids, Fernanda. I love them. You can see that your Blatia from possibly two years ago is doing fabulously. So this one right here, I don't see any issues that it shouldn't do just as well and be just as happy. Thank you so, so much. Vecina favorita. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And everybody else, thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate your time. I'm one happy camper here. <laughs> Have yourselves a beautiful day on one condition though, that you stay safe. Please take care. Bye. Hehehehe <laughs> Woohoo!